So for the first time ever, I am caught up on Game of Thrones, and tonight is the series finale for season five, I believe, and I've never actually watched a finale when like everyone else in the world is watching. So this is very exciting. So because of this, I recently watched a Game of Thrones tag on YouTube, so I thought I would do that tag. So number one, how did you discover the series or book? I remember after the first season, I saw the banners at Comic-Con that year, and I remember standing outside of Ballroom 20, where the panel was happening, and like, I was still in line, and like every time the doors open, I'm like, oh, those are pretty people. And I think because Kayla was watching it, and then everyone just kind of started watching it. And so after the show had been running two seasons or so, I started getting the DVDs from the library and catching up that way. I have yet to read the books. They are actually all on my Kindle, but I have yet to actually like sit down and read them. So one day I will. Number two, who is your favorite house apart from the Starks or Lannisters? Ugh, I don't know if I really have a favorite house because they all either, sometimes I love them and sometimes I hate them. I'd probably say Tyrell would be my favorite after the main two. Even they sometimes bug me, but I think because of Grandma Tyrell, like she's so awesome. Number three, who's your favorite character from the House of Stark? It's a toss up between Arya and Sansa. I pretty much can't stand anyone else from the House of Stark. I mean, I used to, and then they just kind of got annoying, and I think there's a reason why they are mostly dead now. They made some poor decisions. Number four, who's your favorite character from House of Lannister? I'd say Tyrion, although that's kind of an obvious choice. I think because he's such the black sheep of the Lannisters, like, and he's hilarious, so Tyrion. Number five, who is your favorite character? Besides Tyrion, I, I would say, like, Grandma. Tyrell, I actually don't remember her name, and that's kind of me in Game of Thrones. It's like, I can describe the person, maybe. I feel like any old person in that world, like, that means they're pretty witty to, like, survive that long. And she just has some good one-liners. I mean, she might have her, like, naive downfalls and might think a little too highly of herself, and especially in recent times, but she's always seemed to give pretty good advice and... Just really funny. She, I, I like her. Number six, who is your least favorite character? It's hard to say because I feel like every season there's a new least favorite character. I mean, you could go with the obvious Joffrey. But I would say in current season, is it Ramsay? 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 Snow? Yeah, I don't like him. I don't think I really liked him for a few seasons. He's just kind of bad. Number seven, what are your thoughts about the series or books? I like them. Um, they are a little violent. I mean, it kind of fits in the world. I know a lot of people have issues with like how rape is portrayed, but I'm hoping that there's some good commentary on like, well, obviously this is a bad thing. I don't think they're like glorifying rape. I think they're interesting. They're just a little intense sometimes and just also the amount of stuff in the show is very thick. Number eight, if you could be one of the characters, who would you be and why? I don't think I would want to be any of the characters. Ooh. I definitely wouldn't want to be any character in the North because they're gonna be the first taken out by the White Walkers. Um, I guess I'll just say Arya because at least like she can defend herself. It's not a fun life, but at least she like, she has practical like defense knowledge. Yeah. Number nine, favorite episode season? I can't really remember them as like individual episodes or really seasons. They all kind of blend together. But I really liked the... when the like Red Wedding was happening. Like the few episodes leading up to that because by that time I realized like the Starks were doomed and they were just like too full of themselves and they were just walking into a trap. Obviously I was like ha watching this late, so I knew people were being killed. But I just kind of liked that storyline and like catching up to it and seeing what happens. I really liked like pre-Joffrey's death Cersei's storyline where she kind of acknowledges that Joffrey is just terrible, but like she's still her mother. I kind of like that exploration. Um, that's when I really started to like Cersei, but in recent times I've gotten to not like her as much again. I, I can appreciate like the actor though and, and the role that she plays. 
Number 10, who is your Game of Thrones crush? Maybe like season five Jamie. <laughs> or Marjorie, cause I just think she's really pretty. <laughs> Number 11, what are you most looking forward to in the upcoming series or book? I'd say I'm most looking forward to the White Walkers just coming down, like crossing the wall and just being like, yo, why are you even worrying about like who rolls Westeros? Like we're gonna just take over. Because like, that's just gonna happen. Like, I feel like the story is just gonna end with the White Walkers just taking over the world or the world of Westeros because and it's gonna be like oh we we thought all this was important but guess what it wasn't the end <laughs> that's my Game of Thrones tag I would love to hear your guys' thoughts die for the season finale I'm going to watch it in a few hours